Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of Jesus Christ because he lives forever we live. I am Apostle Shirley Dennis and with the Little Commandment uh, uh, crew here, part of the crew, and we come from the Little Commandment Ministry. Uh, child of God, I just want to say something very quickly about uh, why we celebrate Easter. Many people keep asking, I mean, but did Easter really take place on that exact day that you're talking about? I mean, who cares really when it was, whether it was a Sunday, whether it was a what, whether it was a, on 7th, whether it was what. All we know is that Jesus Christ lived in this world, died on the cross, and rose again. And that is the most important thing. Whether you want to pray on Saturday, please pray on Saturday. If you choose to pray on Friday, please pray on Friday. If you choose to pray on Sundays, please just remember that Jesus Christ is alive. And now he lives inside Hallelujah. each one of us who has believed in him. 1 Corinthians 1.18, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And so we are alive because Jesus Christ has given us the power, and the power for what? To overcome everything and anything that could drag us into a place of death. And you know where Jesus was crucified? The place is called Golgotha, uh, an area that was called a place of skull. That is an indication to us that why was Jesus, why did he have to be nailed on the cross or why did he have to die at a place of skull? It takes us to something which we always actually see in our own uh, uh, in our own generation in this very time many times people use the symbol of a skull a skull to represent death all right even the devil worshipers they use the skull to represent death and let me tell you what happened jesus christ had to be crucified above the skull because golgotha means what skull and so the cross could not be laid down he did not have to die down he had to die above meaning what that he reigned over death jesus christ overcame death he was crucified Hallelujah. above the skull jesus christ, oh child of god the cross had to be raised above the skull to show us that jesus christ overcame death and let me tell you, on Sunday morning, Jesus Christ was no longer in the grave. He was already risen and, hallelujah, Amen. now he Amen. lives inside you and me. We are born again, born of the power of God. If you have believed in Jesus Christ, you are a child of God. Not because you belong to Adam, but because you belong to the new Adam, Jesus Christ, who has never sinned. He knew no sin, yet he chose to die because because of our sin and in case you are not born again i just want you to say this word say dear lord jesus i love you so much but i know that you already loved me even before i got to know you today i am cut deep in my heart when i think about what you've done for me on the cross and i thank you so much for what you did i thank you so much for loving me today I ask you to save me. Help me to walk in your life. I declare that I am born again. Born of the spirit. Born of the water. And born of the fire of, the, uh, fire of God. In Jesus mighty name. Child of God, if you have said those, that, that simple prayer, you are already born again. And we would like to welcome you to celebrate with us on Sunday. Mm. This very Sunday here at Tiripati Mazima Mall. Thank you so much for joining in today. And please do follow us up on all our social media platforms. That is the Lyric Commandment Uganda. Especially if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel. Go to our YouTube channel. Now go to YouTube and type the Lyric Commandment Uganda. After subscribing, click the bell button so that you will be able to receive notifications every time we post a new video. Be blessed. We we'll love you. Bye-bye. I know those who are mine. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. Yes.